tells the story of, of a penguin's kind of annual life cycle uh, through the specific narrative of one penguin who is named Steve. And so we follow Steve through his sort of yearly uh, process and his family, uh, his chicks and his nest and his mate and, um, and all the hardships that, that he goes through. There are these crazy guys who are underwater camera people who we use, who are incredibly brave, but also incredibly professional, who take equipment, again, not designed for polar environments, and adapt it such that they can spend, you know, up to an hour underneath the ice. And, um, and they have a very rigorous safety procedure, but still, you know, these guys are, are diving under a shifting platform in, in minus, you know, 20 conditions with water at, you know, kind of plus two or, or plus one. You know, it's a very, very extreme environment to, to not only to dive in, but then once they're in there, they also have to film, you know, and they have to, they have to interact with their animals, they have to film natural behavior. All of those things are incredibly complicated. The thing that I love most about working on Disney Nature is the fact that um, it is an introduction in many ways to a lot of people about animal life. And animal life is incredibly similar to our lives. I mean, the fact of the matter is we're animals. So you can see how family and good parenting is so important. But in, in, in this particular case, it's survival. It's all about survival. And I think it's a, there's a, it's a nice allegory, you know, in terms of how, how this world works within our world. What I think most people don't realize about penguins, because they're so adorable, is that they're also really tough and that their lives are very difficult. Antarctica is a inhospitable place and there are lots of predators in the, in the ocean, there, the weather, the climate is tough um, and they're tenacious. Uh, so they're in a lot of danger at times, but they're also, they fight through it and they have this incredible spirit. and. Uh, and it's just, it's very powerful. It's a real treat to be here. They're relentless, they don't stop. I admire them for their tenacity. They're just up and down this hill, just motoring, absolutely speaking up and down that hill. I love their curiosity, look at this. They're just sitting there, they're completely cool. They're just happy to hang out with us and let us be here. Disney Nature has that role of reminding people that there is this, there are places out there in the world that are special, that are beautiful, that um, there are things going on there that we can connect to as human beings that are not that unsimilar to our own lives. You know, the natural world isn't something else. It's actually on a continuum with us. We are part of it. And I think that's our role really, is to kind of make people love it, make people understand it, make people connect to it emotionally and hopefully learn something important about it and go away with a thirst for knowledge to find out more. My tripod and camera were right in the way. The great thing about Disney Nature uh, is that the first week that we run the film out into the world, a portion of every ticket that's sold goes to a nonprofit organization that's supporting the conservation effort. And in this case, we're going and supporting the Wildlife Conservation Network, who is working to help penguins, apropos. So uh, it's, you know, we, we've done this now for every release 
and I think it's one of the greatest things that Disney does. So all the males have come back into the colony by now and they're fervently trying to build their nests and they build their nests out of these little stones. In fact, the Delhi penguin colonies are only found where you find these stones because they need them to lift their eggs off the ground for when the snow melts so their eggs don't freeze. When all the males are going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards, picking up rocks, trying to build their nests up in time. Awesome. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> we made it. That is the best feeling ever. Just landing here, pretty amazing. This is our home. about a mile walk down to the colony and we're just taking some of our gear, some of the 5,000 pounds of gear that we brought. Camera, tripod, what have you. We're gonna stash that down in the colony so we don't have to bring it back and forth each day. Jeff, why aren't you carrying as much as the rest of us? <laughs>